special guys, Jason Gruber coming back with another video. And yes, it's been a hot minute since I've made a video. It's been about, I don't know, four, five months since I last checked, but if you can't tell, new scenery. I'm actually in Florence, Italy right now, doing a study abroad this semester. So that's why I haven't been making videos. This is actually my first attempt in making a video because we have a highly anticipated package in the mail today from Portland, Oregon, from Bear and Knuckles, Jacob Keller, and Cole McBride. This is from their collection two that just dropped um, a few weeks ago. It wasn't cheap to get this package here. It was a process. There was some issues. So I'm leaving tonight, uh, going to Milan tomorrow, Milan Fashion Week. So I'm so happy this actually came in the mail today because I'll be definitely wearing it. So if you're not already following my Instagram, follow it. I'll link down below. Jason underscore G25. I'm like so hyped about this jacket and costed a lot of money to get it here. Here we go. We got the Bare Knuckles Collection 2 Stripe Denim Jacket. That's already looking dope. The hardware looks so nice. The model, I forget his name, was like, I think it was Sean. He is 5'10", 150 or 160 pounds, and he was wearing a medium, and I'm 5'9", 5'10", like 148 pounds, so I just was like, this size should work for me. Comes in this nice plastic bag. The denim definitely feels nice and worn in. Opening the jacket up. Really, really heavyweight denim going on here. Definitely more cropped of a jacket than the one I already own, but I do know that this jacket compared to their season one stripe jacket is uh, definitely not as cropped. I know it's elongated a little bit and the sleeves are a little longer. I'll link it down below. This is actually still available if you guys want to purchase. I'm actually surprised it's still available um, because like from their first collection, their stripe denim jacket, saw that instantly they actually had to restock it. But yeah, I've heard lots of good things about that first collection. I know this one's gonna be even nicer and I had to get this one with the nice uh, faded black and white because it's so versatile. This is heavyweight Japanese denim made in Los Angeles with custom hardware. So all these buttons in like an old English font say BK. Not sure how well that's coming up, but we got BK right there, which I think is a really, really nice finish because I know on the their first jacket, they did not have custom hardware, so I really, really like that. And obviously, as you can see on the top, we got that Bare Knuckles logo with the red font. It starts out as black denim with hand-painted white stripes, so totally white, all the contrast, but then it is washed and the color is stripped away. It's stonewashed to break down stiff fibers of the denim. So actually, I'm curious to see if there's any rocks in the pockets. Yep, but yeah, here's just a little rock that was in one of the pockets. I know people were saying that that was in some of the jackets. Enzyme wash to give it a final like softening. And just some like designer notes from Jacob and Cole. They wanted a jacket to be oversized so you can wear a hoodie under it, but still look great with a tee. So I think that's really nice. I got a, I got a hoodie to maybe pair with this because I didn't cop the hoodie from this collection even though I really wanted to, but I couldn't quite justify the price for like getting both things. So. I just got this. I just want to actually try this on already. Ooh. This feels nice. Yeah, actually guys, this fits, this fits perfect. <laughs> Yo, this looks so nice in person. Oh my God, wait, how about the hat? Yo, this right here is the D look. This is what I'm wearing for Fashion Week tomorrow. Gonna wear the same shirt. Don't tell anyone. But yeah, this looks so nice, guys. jacket or anything really like this crop and this is actually a new pair of pants if you guys are wanting it's like the first pair of high-waisted pants I've ever worn these are actually by 
come in Sweden. I'm gonna actually make a future video probably like right after this on these pants right here that I just cop. So this piece and this piece, Fashion Week go-to fit right here. And we got the jewelry by uh, Vitaly Design. Um, this uh, pendant right here, these rings, this ring are all by Vitaly. It does have pockets on the inside. Not quite as like big of a pockets on my other jacket. You can still fit some stuff in here, like a pretty fat wallet. You can just throw it in there, which I'll probably do. Now, I know some people are going to comment down below, like, was the jacket worth it for the price? And in terms of, like, the process and materials, I definitely feel like... Oh, sorry, guys. I definitely feel like this was worth it for the price. It would have been more ideal if I ordered this when I was in the States, because the jacket itself retails $300 US dollars. Um, I don't really know what exactly that is in euros, but when it came here, I had to pay the import taxes and they didn't tell me how much it was beforehand, so that was just another like 100 plus euros I had to pay. So let's just say $400 jacket, but I'm so happy with it. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. Comment your thoughts on the jacket down below. Remember to go follow my Instagram. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. I'm not going to be making content as often just because I'm in Florence. But I'll show you guys any clothing pickups I get while I'm here. I'm only here for like another two months. But yeah, thank you so much, Jacob and Cole. If you are, if you are watching this video, um, Jacob's been like a huge icon for me in terms of uh, YouTube menswear. Um, even though he's not really making videos as often, but he's he's doing his thing. This is just some really dope stuff. Shout out to Bare Knuckles. Stay tuned for future videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.